Hey, what's going on, people? Like I mentioned, yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday. Man, it's about 4 o'clock. I'm actually getting started early today. Trying to see what I can do. Hit that peak pay. You know what's up. Trying to hit that peak pay for a little while. I think it's going from now until 6 o'clock. Uh, we're going to try to see what we can do with that. And like I said, I hope tonight will probably be a good night. And uh, just uh, just want to make some things happen. Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Anthony DoorDash Master. Just a school of knowledge to help make you become a better and professional Dash Master yourself. Hey, thank you. Hey, I just got one thought. I happened to see uh, Hannibal's Hungry video yesterday, man. This just kind of hurt my heart, man. This is like, I can't believe that someone that drivers uber drivers are uh stealing somebody's dog man it just it, it's it's not only that fact it's the fact that you're representing a company that you're delivering to or you're working for or you're uh presenting to your customers and that's what you're giving your custom that kind of mindset so hey what now now everybody wanting no wonder people don't want to use DoorDash or Uber Eats or Grubhub to deliver food because there's so much drama, there's so much bad and negativity about these apps that it's really hurting the good ones who are professionals, who are out there getting their hustle on and then and, and making that money. This is their way of living. And people like that, the people that are stealing food and stealing dogs and shaming the uh shaming uh customers and things like that man that just hurts the whole concept of the whole app the whole uh gig economy man and people just you know all this negativity it just puts a hurting on the ones that are really and truly love what they do uh going out there hustling every day being professional and and just be just making that money and provide an excellent service to their customers. Then you have people who like that, that wants to steal dogs and uh, sham people and, 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 and eat customer food and things like that and give the companies a bad rap, man. It's just, it's just sad, it's just sad. What are your thoughts on that, man? What are your thoughts on people just being dirty, shysty, whatever, just putting a bad hurting to actually your lifestyle of living? It's really your lifestyle of living because you get up every day or you get out and hustle every day doing these things and it just puts a bad reputation on your business as, as, as a whole as far as working for these apps and things like that, man. What are your thoughts on it? Post your comments below. Hey, it's Friday. Like I said, hopefully I'll post some uh, results on what I, what I made tonight. Uh, so you get a glimpse of it eventually coming soon i hope to do some ride alongs and things like that to share you your your uh your, my experience with you all on how the gig and how the dash and how the the thing works in my market and we go we go let y'all check it out and see what's going on with that but hey if you like this video give a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will get notified when your boy posts a, a new video so you won't miss out on anything because I want to make you a professional dash master yourself. Hey, thank you guys. Let's go get it. All right, you guys just picked up that order from Nora's Pizza and to my customer who is about maybe four minutes away. Just picked up another order from the Yumi's Japanese restaurant. Uh, getting ready to go drop this off to my customer. My customer is nine minutes away. Hey, I'll post that screenshot right there on uh, how much I made from that delivery. What up? It's your boy. I ain't just picked up another order going to Zaxby's. And uh, we're going to check this out, see how much we got. I'll post a screenshot of how much I made from that give y'all be proof hey, what up what up i just picked up a order from uber eats i give y'all a little ride along 
as I head over there to pick up that order. Uh, so we gonna go get it. Let's go get it. Like I said, uh, Friday, man. Friday nights in my market, man, is it's, it's pretty busy, man. And uh, so I, I probably don't have about uh, three orders from Uber Eats, but you know I had to I had to decline them because I just I couldn't uh, I was in the middle of a dash with DoorDash, so uh, couldn't 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 accept the Uber Eats. But they've been Uber Eats has been doing well too, has been popping off pretty good. Uh, like I said, man, it's just all about knowing your market and when times to go, man, what times to get out there and, and make that hustle. Because it can be different days, man. It can be uh, a, a different hours. It can be from from 2 to two to 6, or it can be from 4 to 8. You just have to really know your market and you know how know what how things are going in your own market. But uh, both both DoorDash and um, both DoorDash and Uber Eats has been going pretty good, man. It's been has been busy tonight on Friday night, so I should be able to make a pretty good decent money tonight if I keep up with this pace. And the thing about it, you know, it's just uh, they short miles too. They're not really. They paying more, but they just short miles. So I'm really getting roughly around uh, probably dollar seventy five cents a mile, somewhere around there between a dollar seventy five cents a mile on the average of my runs tonight. So I'm doing pretty good. Uh, so hopefully we can continue on this this path we on tonight and try to make some money and go from there. So, but I just want to give y'all a little. Uh, view of the city, you know, that's some pretty churches there, as y'all can see that, you know, that's pretty, our, you know, our town is pretty, pretty well, uh, lit, it's, it's pretty good place to live, um, uh, you know, that's, we're coming towards, uh, downtown now where, you know, you're probably, uh, where everybody comes and it's a lot of shops and things, uh, people and just enjoying the scenery, man. You know, as you, you can see down that way, it's mostly downtown area. And people are just out hanging out, eating ice cream or doing whatever, going to shops, hanging out. Uh, it's not a real big, big uh, town, but you know, it's, it's a good place to live. And you know, it has, it has its ups and downs like everybody else. I'm not saying, it's a perfect, but you know, it's a good good place to live in this town. It gets kind of busy down here and it's growing. I mean, the thing about it is it's growing uh, a lot from the time I, when I first came here, uh, it, it, this, it has just constantly been growing and growing and growing. It's getting uh, to where now they, they starting to, to add on more highways because it is so uh, busy. And uh, one of the places over here that you'll probably see is it's called Four Seasons. Look at the skies, man. It's a pretty view, man. Look at that. You can see you see the mountains on the on the backside. If you look really close, you can actually see the mountains peep, peeping off at the top, man. It's, you know, this is what people come up to see, man. They just come up and, and, and see the mountains and things like that. Uh, we have great people come up, Florida people coming up from the south coming up and this uh enjoying especially during fall season uh come up and enjoy the view man and look at the leaves changing and things like that uh, as you can see you can probably see a lot of it uh, i'll try to zoom in a little bit more to give you a little bit more view on uh if you catch those mountains and things like that but you know it's 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 pretty it's pretty man it's just Especially doing going this time, doing this time here, uh, it's not a real busy city, uh, you know, big city where it's real congested. Yes, at a certain time it does get kind of congested, especially this area where we at now, which is called Four Seasons. Uh, it gets kind of congested in this area here, right around five, between five o'clock. 
only up to about six o'clock. It gets kind of congested here. It gets really busy here because I guess people are getting off of work. You know, they're going to eat, doing whatever. You know, there's some little little towns and things like that. Now, this is where mainly our restaurants and things are at. As you you can see, you're probably coming up to a lot of those restaurants and things like that. Uh, as you see here, as you can see now, a lot of those restaurants are coming now. As I mentioned, uh, these most of these restaurants will be closed, and the only thing that would be open probably Taco Bell. And then up here, just on the side here, there's a lot of little pizza joints and Mexican restaurants and things like that. U.S. sellers, you know, it's just a typical, typical place, good place to live. So now we're getting ready to come up here to where I'm going to pick this order up at Outback Steakhouse. And uh, we're going to go pick that up from Uber Eats and deliver that to um, our customers today. Uh, let's sure check that out here. Uh, but like I said, man, it's, it's just a little town that, you know, uh, good place to live man it's just a good place you know it's not a whole you know everybody has their perks ups and downs and things like that but uh, as you can see you can see mostly of the now you can see the outback steakhouse out way down in here in this little hole down here uh, but that's where we're headed to now as you can see it's like slam freaking pack man it's like Helipad. Helipad. And that's what's up. Now, when we go up here, we get to the place. Now, they'll come out and, and bring your stuff to it. We don't have to go in there. Uh, the workers here will bring out your order or whatever you uh requesting. Uh, we're going to pull right here. They should pop out of here and go from there. Just picked up another order after I dropped off that Uber Eats for DoorDash, Walgreens for 9.25, going 1.6 miles. I'll post a screenshot of that, and we'll see what's happening after that. If they tip or don't tip, hey, I'll see you shortly. Bye. I told you, man, Friday nights are slamming, man. I just got another Uber Eats. Um, order for thirty dollars going 6.7 miles something like that but we're gonna go get that one and i'll post a screenshot on the results so I picked up a little season order uh for eight dollars uh gonna drop this off to the customer i will post a screenshot on how much it, i made off of that delivery we got a stack order, one at Subway and one at Cropless Pizza for eleven dollars. Um going six point and something miles or something like that. But I'll let you I'll post a screenshot of what um uh, if I think I remember I'll take it. Uh I've been humping it tonight, guys. I've been I've been humping it. So Hopefully I can post a screenshot of that. So I'll just give you another part of the city. Uh, we working this night shift. Uh, it's kind of raining today. A little rainy here and there. So it just actually started over here. So we're going to just uh, go pick up this order at a Crawford's Pizza. But I just want to give you a little ride along of another part of the city and uh talk to you less. so what's going on with you all tonight y'all working that night shift or you working you relaxing chilling out watching youtube watching some live channels and things like that what y'all doing tonight on this friday night or you taking the day off uh well, i'm just going to share something just want to share you my thing. This is what I do usually make my hustles Friday, Saturday. From, I take off Monday. I don't work on Mondays. 
But I use it. I use it take off uh, Mondays and work Tuesday through Sunday. So uh, Mondays is kind of slow in my market, but I like to just take that day off after the weekend because I don't ran hard the whole weekend. You know, you just want to take it easy and go from there. Um, so, but like I said, just want to give you a little quick tour of uh, where I'm going to pick up this R now. Over here is in this section of the city. It's, it's, it stays pretty popping. It stays busy all the time, man. It's just like, and like I said, it's a lot of restaurants over here as well. And so this market over here is a little bit different from where I was earlier. But uh, and uh, it'd be jumping off. If this part of the city I like on the weekends. I do this part of the city on the weekends because it's more money over here than it is where I'm at when I was earlier. So on the weekends, I usually pop off, start off over here, and I've been on make my money up by noon, and then I work a night shift or a late shift going uh, down to my little area, my little neck of the woods, and, uh, and run that down there. So. As you can see, we right here, we're going to pick up this pizza. There's Subway right there. You might like see Subway there. The Subway and Acropolis is right down in that area there. Uh, we're going to go pick up this pizza and deliver that to our customers. Hey, guys. I'll see y'all a little bit. Holla. What up, people? Still rolling. It is about 9.30. On a Friday night, we still rocking and rolling, making that money. Just picked up a Uber Eats for McDonald's, thirteen dollars and some change for six miles. I'm going to McDonald's right now to pick that up, and uh, hopefully, I'll put a screenshot up there on the total amount that I made tonight for Uber Eats. So let's go get this order. Let's go get it. What's up, people? Look at Taco Bell. That's Taco Bell at 9.30, almost 10 o'clock at night. That's Taco Bell. Slam. That's why I don't sell Taco Bell. Not, not happening. Not this time of night, no way. In the daytime, maybe, but not at night. Nope. All right, people, I am officially closing down for the night. It is 10 o'clock. You know, I'm filling up for tomorrow, so I get my day going tomorrow. Start out early in the morning, filling up. Hey, gas right now is 419. 419. You can see that. Filling up. That's what's up. Gotta get it. Get it ready for in the morning. Hey, I'll do some updates. See y'all. Check the video out tomorrow. Talk to y'all later. Bye.